Who's your commander? Good luck. Equip. Move to combat. Resolves. Right. Now, before you attack Does me. anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Hello, Magic players. This is Jumbo Commander, and today I have a little bit of a different video for you. Today, there won't be a deck tech. There won't be any card analysis. Instead, I'm going to talk about how you can turn your old leftover bulk into something that you can donate to someone in need this holiday season. So let's jump in and find out how you can make someone's Christmas a lot better. Hello Magic players, this is Jumbo Commander and I'm here to show you something that I've done for a few years now that I thought you might enjoy and it might inspire some people to do something the same. Uh, I've saved all of the draft chaff that I can get my hands on, and I love drafting, so I've saved it all, and then I save it up throughout the whole year, and then at the end of the year towards Christmas time, I package up these cool boxes of commons and uncommons and donate them to local charities. And it's something that's really easy to do, and so I want to show you all the components of these cool gifts that I put together, and so maybe that would inspire some of you to do the same. So the first thing I get is a box, and the boxes that I use are fat pack boxes. The reason why I use fat pack boxes is because they're good boxes. They're sturdy. They hold an approximate amount of cards that are good uh, to give away as a gift. Uh, but most importantly, they look really good. They have good art to get someone excited about the present that you're about to give them, but also it kind of convinces the place you're donating it to that you're giving them something that's really quality. Uh, it does take a little bit of convincing sometimes to get certain organizations to accept sort of open products that you've built for them. Yeah, so some of them won't even accept it. So one way to do that, get over that hurdle, is to make something nice and convince them that it is really nice and it's a good toy to give away. Uh, but also make sure to call them ahead of time and kind of explain what you're giving them so you don't waste your time and they don't end up with a bunch of cool things that you put a lot of effort into that their policies don't let them give away to kids in need. So that's why I like the, like the fat pack boxes, even though, you know, these BCW boxes, I actually like storing my cards in more, but they're too boring. So these ones, they look cool. So that's what I'm gonna use for that. And then next comes the cards. Honestly, all I do is I grab a bunch of cards from the same set and I make sure that they're commons and uncommons, and I just throw them in. And I try to get approximately the same amount of each color, and I put in just whatever's left over. I go through and I try and remove some of the cards that really are kind of useless. <laughs> like, for example, there were like 20 copies of Demolish in here. You don't need that many copies of Demolish uh, to be given away. So I took a bunch of them out and I made sure that there are a bunch of cool commons and uncommons and creatures, you know? People love swinging creatures at each other. So I made sure that that was there. Another thing I did is I made sure to pick the cards. I took out all of the standard cards and all of the commander cards and anything worth money. And you might think, wow, that's really crappy. You're taking all the money out of your gift that you're giving to someone. The thing is that it's not about the money. These, the kids that get these packs are not gonna be trying to build up to a standard deck. Um, they honestly will not care that you included a glimmer of genius in their pile. It just won't even register. So if you do want to make sure that this card goes to the best person, why don't you find a kid at your local game store that is trying to build a standard deck and give them your glimmer? Or put it in your trade binder, make a good trade, save some money, buy your mom a present. Um, but you wanna make sure that you get the right cards to the right people. And so that means pulling anything that you could use theoretically out of this and making sure that you have tons of awesome commons and uncommons. And one thing that you definitely want to include is a big, splashy, fun rare. Uh, this one's from Kaladesh, but honestly, I didn't have a good red Kaladesh card rare that I could find, so I just put through in a Siege Dragon. Some kid opening this up would love to slam down a Siege Dragon against their friends. But the next thing that you cannot forget about is lands. Lands are a necessity, and if these kids don't have enough, they will not be playing Magic. They, they won't go to a local game store and get lands, so you need to make sure that you include a bunch of lands. Actually, I include like way more than this. So way more than like you would assume. I'm thinking like maybe 
a stack like this, like a ton of lands. And then another thing I like to include are some tokens, especially ones that could explain some of these. Like some of these cards might be tricky, like energy. And so I include the token so it might give a little bit more insight into what's going on in the rules. Uh, and speaking of which, some of this will go to kids who have never played Magic before, so they might need these rules. So what I do is, uh, throughout the year, I grab these quick reference guides, and I try to get them from as many people as possible. And uh, they're, well, they're pretty bad at teaching someone how to play Magic. <laughs> they have like some very, very basic stuff, but they do go through a turn, and someone reading this could kind of figure out how to play. I also print out the PDF that Magic uh, puts with their product. I'll put a link in the description so you can see the PDF that I also include. But I don't, I think that the quick, quick reference guide is important because kids aren't gonna read like a 20 page PDF printed out, you know, to learn how to play Magic. They're gonna grab this and look at their cards and just start slamming them down. And honestly, if they're not playing Magic correctly, that's okay as long as they're having fun. And the next thing I do, is I grab my big thing of die. Just like throughout the year, I grab commons, I grab these things. I try to accumulate a lot of dies, and I grab two d20s and I throw them in the pack as well. Remember, if you wanna put one of these together, you totally can. It's very easy. It doesn't cost a lot of money for you, but it's gonna make someone that doesn't have a really good Christmas present super, super happy to get all of these awesome cards. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully some of you get excited to donate some of your magic cards, but along with it, you might want to consider donating something that people really, really need, which is brand new socks and underwear. Those are some of the things that are not donated enough, and we really do like to see people playing with magic cards, but we should also give them some of the stuff that they really need. So maybe bring both of those to your donation center. I'd like to take a moment to thank my patrons. Thank you so much. You guys are a big reason why we can have videos like this and why I can have such great giveaways. Not just the giveaways where you guys get magic cards or the giveaways to build my channel, but literally giving magic cards away to people who need them. And the patrons know this. They're investing money so that they can help out other people. So thank you for your generosity, patrons. And I also have to go back and thank the generosity of so many other Magic players who stepped up when I called out for help. I wanted to send out some Magic decks to people who lost their collections in the Texas flooding, and I got some overwhelming responses. And I was overwhelmed, but there were some Magic players out there that stepped up and said, how can I help? They sent me cards, they sent out decks to other people. They were there, and they were amazing. I am consistently floored by the generosity of this community, and I'm really excited because I think that there's going to be a lot more magic cards in the hands of kids who need a great present this Christmas. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Jumbo Commander. You can find me all sorts of places, and I hope to see you really soon for some more Commander content.